Major components can be accessed from the back of the machine. The major components are the feed motor, the feed encoder, the shear motor, shear, the bend motor, the pneumatic valve stack, filter air lubricator, pressure switch, and proximity switch panel. In the front of the machine you have the horizontal straightener assembly, the primary drive wheels, the vertical straightener assembly, the shear assembly, and the bend assembly. The switch functions on the controls are as follows. From left to right, the emergency stop button, the control power switch, the door open close switch, the head position in and out switch, the head up and down switch, the bend clockwise and counterclockwise switch, the feed forward and reverse switch, the shear switch, the pause switch, and the continue switch. There are also advanced mode knobs that can be enabled under the machine setup tab. Make sure that incoming 480 volt three phase power is coming into the machine. Turn the 480 switch on the electrical box attached to the machine to the on position. Next, go to the control stand and locate the control power switch. Turn the switch clockwise to on, then all the way over to start and release. Allow the machine 30 seconds to start up. The machine will default to the part setup screen when ready. If you need to turn the power off for some reason, allow 30 seconds for the drives to de-energize before restarting the machine. Parts can easily be saved and reloaded from the parts libraries. Press the Load Part from Library button in the center column of the Part Setup screen. Select from the Standard or Custom tab. The Standard tab has common preloaded shapes that can be modified and saved. The Custom tab allows you to save an unlimited number of your own shapes. Scroll to the shape desired. Select the shape and then press OK in the lower right hand corner of the Shape Library pop up screen. The shape will appear loaded into the Part Setup tab. To save a shape once it's programmed from the Part Setup screen, press the Save Part to Library button in the center column of the Part Setup screen. Give the part a name and press OK to save into the library. To scan tags directly into the controller, select the Scan Tag button in the center column. A pop-up screen will prompt you to add a tag. Scan the tag. The shape will appear loaded in the Parts Setup screen and parts counters are set according to the quantity shown on the tag. This screen shows what part will be made and how many. If you are not using a job list, this will be the part in the Part Setup tab. Otherwise, the first enabled part in the job list will appear here. The parts counters allow you to specify the total number of parts to be made, how many have been made, and an optional bundle counter, with the total in each bundle and how many are in the current bundle. The bundle counter allows the machine to automatically pause for tying and tagging a bundle. Progress bars show the current percentage of total parts made and the percentage of parts made to complete the current bundle. Touching any of the four numeric fields in the Part Count Progress area will allow you to edit these numbers. From the Run Parts tab, when the machine is in automatic mode, operation is controlled with the Pause and Continue push buttons on the console. Press Continue to begin part making, as long as there are parts still to be made. Pause can be pressed at any time to stop the machine after the current part cycle. The machine will also pause automatically when the bundle count is reached or the total count is reached. When a bundle is complete, pressing Continue will reset the bundle counter to zero to begin a new bundle. There are two sets of straighteners on the machine. Facing the machine and looking left to right, the first set of straighteners closest to the coiled stock are for adjusting the bar in and away from the face of the machine on the horizontal plane. You may refer to as the horizontal straighteners. 
The second set of straighteners adjusts the bar up and down on the face of the machine on the vertical plane, or the vertical straighteners. There is a preset adjuster assembly for the number 2 to 3, 6 to 10 millimeter bar, and the number 4, 13 millimeter. Loosen the assembly bolts and spin the assembly to the correct bar size. In this example, we are running dual number 3, 10 millimeter. Retighten the assembly bolts. Untighten all the set bolts so the wheels are all spinning freely. Feed the bar into the machine. Be sure the air brake is turned off on the cradle and carrier assembly. On the control, switch to the machine setup tab. Then select the general setup section. Here, under air brake setting, select off. Feed through and shear off uneven ends. Hand tighten all the bolts down just enough so the wheels are snug and no longer spinning freely. Most of the adjustment should be done to the first sets of the larger straightener wheels. Once snug by hand, tighten with a wrench. One eighth turns are all that are required to see movement on the bar. Do not over tighten. You want as little pressure as possible to get the bar straight. The sets of smaller rollers should just be snug as not to spin freely. Run out three to four feet or a meter of bar. Shear and inspect. Repeat as necessary. Do not over tighten. Once the bars are nearly straight, fine adjustments can be made from the red split fine adjustment rolls. Make small moves, one eighth turns to get the bar straight on both planes. Do not over tighten. This is similar to add feed bend, except it will allow you to handle circular segments. This button will open a window where all the relevant values for a straight leg of your shape can be entered at once. If there is no selection on the left part of the display, the new leg will be placed at the end of the shape. If there is a selected leg, the new leg will be inserted before the selected leg in the list. This allows you to add a new leg at the beginning of the shape. This button will take the active part in part setup and add it to the job list. Remember that this is unnecessary when scanning tags with the Add Tag to Current Job List feature checked. The right side of the display shows a representation of the current shape as specified on the left side of the display. Changes you make to the specification are reflected live in the shape shown on the right. Above the shape is a message area which will tell you if you have a valid part, and if not, will attempt to describe the problem. While entering a shape manually, it's best to ignore the message area until you believe you are finished entering the lines. A part typically fails the tests until it ends with a line having a zero degree angle. When you are finished, the messages may be helpful in resolving issues related to data entry. The number entered here is the number of degrees of arc in the segment. For example, 360 degrees is a full circle. 450 degrees is a full circle with a quarter circle overlap. The bend direction buttons are for specifying clockwise or counterclockwise arcs. This will remove the last keystroke in the staging area. The selected red button will be the bend direction of this leg. Pressing the check button will add this leg and return to the Part Setup tab. Pressing the Check Plus button will add this leg and jump right into specifying the next leg. Press X to cancel or to make no changes. This will clear the length or angle or diameter depending on which panel you are in. Deselects all lines in the shape. This is useful when using advanced mode to edit multiple lines simultaneously. Pressing this button will delete the entire shape after confirmation of this action. Entry behavior is the same as length, 
actual value entered will be used as the diameter of the circle or arc you are specifying. When a single line in your shape is selected on the left part of the display, pressing the Edit Item button allows you to change the parameters of that line via an interface similar to Add Feed Bend or Add Arc Circle Segment. If this is deselected, the head will remain out for this feed. If selected, red, the text changes to Head In, and the head will be pulled in for this feed. As you enter a number, it will appear in the staging area at the top right. This number will be placed into the appropriate length field after pressing either feet, inch, or one-eighth. When there is no active part in Part Setup, Load Part from Library allows you to select a saved shape. This can be from a collection of standard shapes, or it can be a custom part that you saved previously. When a part is active in Part Setup, Save Part to Library will request that you supply a name for your part and then confirm that you want to save it to the Part Library. The Machine Status Panel is a display of the current states of various proximity sensors and switches. The gray circle seen before each sensor or switch will become red when the state of that particular sensor or switch is different from the gray state. If the shape entered is valid and able to be fabricated, this button will cause one part to be made for evaluation. The machine must be in automatic mode for this function to be available. Shows the currently assigned operator for the machine. This can be changed under the Machine Setup tab. When a line or lines are selected, Remove Item will delete them from the shape. This button replaces all up bends with down bends and vice versa. To scan tags directly into the controller, select the Scan Tag button in the center column. A pop-up screen will prompt you to add a tag. Scan the tag. The shape will appear loaded in the Parts Setup screen, and parts counters are set according to the quantity shown on the tag. This area displays the different lines that represent the current shape. For example, the second leg of the part displayed in the image above is 10 inches, and the bend after this leg is 90 degrees down. The feed speed is 8 and the bend speed is 7. No feed or bend trims are specified. Each press of the up or down arrow will adjust the bend trim for this leg up 1% or down 1% respectively.